So let's get started by talking about what's in your bag. Here, I have what the bag looks like. And in your bag, you'll have an information sheet. So if you forget anything that we talked about today, you can always refer to it. Next, there's a bag of needles. As you can see, there's quite a few in here. It comes with an additional spare, just in case they get lost or bent. Next, we have five sets of alcohol swabs. Those will be used to clean your skin and the top of the vial. You wanna make sure to clean the vial every single time you puncture it, just to make sure there's no bacteria. Finally, we have your bag with your medication. It'll come in a refrigeration bag, and that tells you that you need to refrigerate your medication. Don't put it in the freezer. Once you open the vial, it'll be good for 28 days. So before we get started, you wanna make sure to wash your hands thoroughly and pick the injection site. So you can inject in the back of your arm, you can inject in the sides of your stomach or the upper thigh. If you are able to, rotate the site of injection each time to avoid soreness. Now we're gonna talk about how to draw up your medication. So, as I said, when you get your medication, it'll come in an amber vial. What you wanna do is take your thumb and push against that cap. That'll take it off for you. Inside, you'll see your medication. It has a couple stickers on it, but the most important one to remember is to put your medication in the refrigerator. To open the vial, you want to take your thumb and push upward on the vial cap till you hear a click. This cap will not be put back on, which is the reason for the amber vial. Once you're done with your medication, you want to put it back in that amber vial in the fridge just to make sure it doesn't get contaminated. Just to make sure if there was any bacteria on the vial before you put your needle in it, you want to make sure you rub the rubber top with the alcohol swab to make sure that it's clean. Next. You want to take the cap off your needle, pull straight up, that'll pull it off the plunger, and same way for the needle. Once your needle is exposed, be sure not to touch it because you don't want to poke yourself. Next, you're going to grab your vial and you're going to take your needle and you'll put it at a 90 degree angle straight into the rubber portion of the vial. As you can see, there's air in the top of the vial, so in order to get the liquid, you have to turn it upside down. Now you want to take your plunger and draw it past the number of units that are on your paper. Once you get the correct number, if there's any bubbles, you can flick it, which will release them to the top. Now you want to push your plunger back to the number that you need for the correct dose. And once it is correct, pull the vial upside down and pull a needle straight up. Your needle is now ready for your injection. So since you cleaned your site earlier, you just wanna make sure that that's dry because if there's any alcohol left over, it could burn. Next, you wanna pinch your skin with your index finger and your thumb and stick the needle at a 90 degree angle again in your skin. Then you wanna expel all the contents of the needle into your skin and make sure the plunger is all the way at the bottom. Once you're finished, you wanna pull the needle directly out. This needle must be discarded in a sharps container. You can use a laundry detergent bottle or a water bottle or anything you have at home that can't be punctured with a needle. This is just to make sure that anyone taking out the trash doesn't get poked. Now that you know the process for using your needles, I just want to make sure that I highlight a couple important points. So one, make sure you take your vial out of the refrigerator about 15 to 30 minutes before you're ready to do your injection. This will just allow the vial time to warm up so that it's not cold going into your skin. As well, if you miss a dose, you want to make sure that you take it as soon as you remember. But if it is four to five days after the dose was supposed to be given, you want to skip that dose and go to the next one. You can use this chart to track each dose of your medication. Thank you for choosing Skip Back Pharmacy. Please call us with any questions you have.